Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. In today's we are going to be looking at this like electric swift guitar. Now there's not really a lot I can tell you about this. Um, there is no there is no model number on it, there's no insignia. All it is is swift. And um, so I can't really tell you what model it is or what anything like that, or the history of it. Um, I'm a shit. I I didn't buy this guitar, it was it was my friend who bought it, he got it from some boot sale or something like that and he just gave it to me because he had no need for it. But I'm going to do a little review of it here. Um, <clears throat> so going over the specs, it's got standard standard uh, tuning, modern style tuners, um, nothing nothing too fancy, a little bit, you know, typical cheap, uh, excuse me, typical cheap tuners, you know, not very accurate, they are nice and big. Um, you're not having to crown they're easy to access they're offset from each other moving down we have then the um, locking nuts I don't have the locking the locks to them however I can tell just from looking at it not the best craftsmanship um, it is a little short on this side it catches and it overhangs on this side and furthermore it's okay on the bridge side however the nut is a little cut is cut a little too short you can hear it buzz out on the G string specifically. Um, the lower, the lower ones are fine. So we got, we have 24 frets. Um, I'm assuming, again, don't really know a lot about this guitar. It looks like rosewood, um, and then at the back, I'm assuming that's probably maple or something like that. Um, two, two part neck. Yeah, two part neck, and then we can move on to the body. So HSH um, configuration. Um, there's a three, a five-way selector, and um, a tone, and volume. And furthermore, there is a a, a Floyd Rose style style bridge. Um, it's uh, I need to give the guitar a setup, but um, that's that's the basics of it. The output the output jack is there. Quite an okay position, actually. I would say. I think that's quite convenient. It's a little bit. It's out of the way. Um, the um, <clears throat> the paint on this is very thin, and it come and it would come off quite easily. I don't think I could show the camera, but um, if you, you know when you're in person, you can see the lines. You can see the kind of the wood grain underneath, sort of. Um, I don't think there's any really real way to sort of pick that up on the camera. Um, but there is lines going through it. You can't feel it, but there is. It is there, so not a thick uh, coat of paint at all. And also, when I'm playing on it, I know maybe this isn't exactly what the um, target market is, but this top volume is very close to this, and it's very difficult. Like you know, when you're playing, and you turn the volume down, and you will hit your finger into this. So some poor, poor design there. Um, however, that's that's it really. Um, you know, fret fret markers, it's pretty standard. This guitar, um, it plays okay. I need to give it a setup, um, but this the string action, particularly on the higher frets, is absolutely awful. So I will have to give it a setup. And also the bridge is um, a little bit higher than I think is a uh, is than usual. Uh, you can see, yeah, I think it should be about there, but it's not. Obviously people like it floating, but I think this is a bit too much. And lastly, a very, very strange thing. On the on the bottom here, it says, it says rhythm, rhythm in jump, dancing close to you. I do not know what this means, and I do not know why it is there. I thought it was going to be like the brand of the, of the, of the tremolo, however it is not. Um, it, it is. It says that, and it's quite odd. And I don't know if anyone has any um, um, knowledge as to what that could be. Um, also, very thin body, very lightweight as well. Um, and in terms of ergonomics, this is very difficult. It, it is a is a point. It is digging into my chest. There is some contours for the uh, for the stomach here, and also for the arm. Yeah, but um, I think that's enough, and um, we're going to now ha have a listen to what it sounds like, so stay tuned.
Uh, got the guitar amped up. It's going through a boss katana. No, no effects. Um, a little bit of a treble. Everything else is at noon, and this is the bridge um, pickup humbucker. <laughs> play around the tone of a, lo a little bit so I just wanted to demonstrate that because it does essentially nothing it does that a little bit but not very much um, and now I'm gonna turn on some reverb uh, turn on some distortion to see what it was actually made to do this is now some lead, um, and it's just using the amps uh, distortion. So again, on so again on the bridge pickup. <laughs> This is the fourth position, so the bridge and um, single call. I didn't check that before. Second position. Humbucker, I'm just gonna just uh, do some do some lead lead guitar. That's it. That's it for this guitar. Um, overall, I'm, I don't really like the pickups. I think they're very um, uh, bassy, incredibly bassy, especially when you hear it without distortion. With distortion, it brings out the highs a little bit, and I think that is what it's made for. Obviously, being a shaped guitar like this. However, um, yeah, overall, I'm not um, massively sold on them. Uh, yeah, the tone knob does hardly anything. These come off so easily, by the way. Obviously, I know it's second hand. Um, they're plastic as well, by the way, not metal. And um, yeah, I'm sorry, a shame I didn't get to check out this. It would have become incredibly out of tune due to the fact it's not got the locking nuts. 
Um, but overall, um, I, I, it's okay. <laughs> I'm gonna use this for a mod, probably, and I'm gonna do a setup on it. So if you're inter interested in that, you can stay tuned. This was digging into me as I was playing, but you know, if you have it on a strap a little bit lower, it shouldn't be too, you know, it shouldn't be too bad. And um, apart from that, that's been this video. So yeah, if you have any knowledge about Swift guitars, the brand, this guitar. Um, please tell me because I know literally nothing and um, apart from that I will be um, seeing you in the next video so stay tuned for future videos my next video gonna be most likely um, something guitar related or actually I think it's probably going to be um, I'm going to be doing I'm going to be modding a Nintendo DS to to be a Game Boy macro if you know what that is if not then stay tuned anyway because I will have covers and I'll do other guitar related videos such as a setup on this very guitar so other than that, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next... Oh, just before that, I wanted to say as well, it has 24 threads, but it is incredibly difficult to get up to it. Like, you know, you can't, you can't, you can't realistically actually get up to here. You can only get to the, uh, the 24th fret on the E string, and even then... It's very difficult to do. Sorry, I know there's some poor playing there. Um, and yeah, that, that's just something I wanted to say. Um, so even though it is 24 frets, not really a 24 gift fret guitar, it's still just a 22 gift fret guitar, which is with 24 frets, because you can't actually access it. And also, you know, standard joint, so it's difficult to, to get up here anyway and, you know, be doing be doing all that. Anyway, that's been this video. It's been going up long enough. Swift Electric Guitars, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. See you. Bye.